Hello folks, my name is Raj Kapoor and I've been in the crypto blockchain space since the last 12 years. Development, architecture, everything and much more. And we're bringing to you a wonderful series which is going to cover all what I've gleaned and learned over the last 12 years. So folks, stay tuned and let the journey begin. A blockchain journey, one block at a time. Today, we're going to deep dive into a wonderful subject everyone asks me about well it's blockchain blockchain that's taken the world by storm it's taken you and me by storm and i'm not talking crypto i'm talking blockchain so i'm going to explain to you what is blockchain what are the platforms what are the blockchain networks how does it work who uses it can i use it is there a future in it that and lots more so first of all, let me explain to you what is blockchain. Well, blockchain is nothing but distributed ledger technology, a part of it, not the entire thing, and it's been there around for many, many years. But the limelight came on 31st October 2008 when Satoshi Nakamoto published a Bitcoin white paper in which he described you and I can interact, do transactions, banking, whatever, peer to peer, one to one, you to me. That's it. I don't need middleman. I don't need a bank. I don't need an intermediary. Guys, I just need you and me. If I have to give something to you, I'll give it to you directly. I won't give it to my dad to give it to you. I'll give it to you directly. That's as simple as that. Well, of course, it explained, the white paper explained, and I would really recommend everybody who's really interested in blockchain and Bitcoin to download that white paper. It's called the Bitcoin White Paper by Satoshi Nakamoto. Download it. More important, let me explain to you what is blockchain and take you down this journey. So blockchain, as I told you, is a part of the distributed ledger technology. Distributed all over the place. Ledger think of it as a diary technology well we all know technology so it's basically a technology that distributes your data rather than keep it all in one place that's blockchain it's the safest form of securing your data it is traceable it is decentralized when I say decentralized there's no bank or a big organization that controls the way it moves just like our central bank or a reserve bank that controls all our banks out here or say a google or a microsoft that controls all your data that blockchain does is brings it into a distributed environment rather than keep it in one single place if it's in a single place it can be hacked it can be tampered with it can be lost files can be deleted anything can happen bring blockchain in and it's distributed immutable that is it cannot be manipulated because once you put data in a blockchain it can never ever be removed and that my friends is the revolution of behind this technology so blockchain is that technology how does it work it works in many ways most of it is called the consensus mechanisms it is a community technology where a community decides on how the blockchain will work and how it operates and that everyone has to agree on it and then and only then documents data everything is input into the blocks that's very important because right now it is on an individual to put it here the community decides that's it it's called consensus there are many types of consensus proof of work proof of stake proof of elapsed time quite a few but more of that a little later there are many networks and platforms. We've all heard of the Bitcoin. We've all heard of Ethereum. We've heard of so many a Hyperledger. We've heard of Solana. We've heard of Cardano. We've heard of uh, Ripple. There are so many of them. We won't talk about all of them right now, but I will explain to you in later sessions a lot more on each one of these blockchains, each one of these platforms, each one of these networks, because that's very critical to understand blockchain. These are the platforms 
which are revolutionizing the way you and I and enterprise will work in the future. So I'll give you a very simple use case. Very simple and that I think you'll understand that very easily. When you go to a bank to transfer money, I say I've got a thousand dollars to send my daughter in the United States. Very cool, I go there, I fill in some forms, a lot of forms. And then I say, how much is the dollar rate? So bank always, whenever I go and buy the dollar, they will charge me more than the market rates. And when I sell the dollar, they'll always charge me lesser than that. All those are banks that make the rules, not you and I. So I'll say, all right, I'm going to spend thousand dollars. Might as well do it to the bank way because that's the safest way. I give it to the bank, sign on some forms and the money gets transferred over a few hours or a few days, depending on where I'm sending it. They also charge me a commission, say hypothetically $20 for it. Cool. I have to do it. Otherwise they won't send it. However, on the Bitcoin blockchain network, I can do the same transaction 24 seven in the bank. I can't, I can do it at a cost, which is hundreds of times cheaper than the bank. And it'll connect me with the market rates, saving me lots of money, time, effort, and all 24 seven. And my daughter will get the money right away. Now you see the benefits. We've got a lot of Indian banks now slowly moving in that direction. ICICI, Access, Yes Bank, they've formed a consortium of seven banks which have gone into the blockchain networks. More important, even the State Bank of India, which people think public sector banks low and like an elephant, that also has walked into the blockchain bandwagon. Very important for us to know lots of banks moving there. Our future is right there. We already know that the blockchain started in 2008. But more important, now mainstream adoption. Lots of sectors are using blockchain. Retail, healthcare, pharmaceutical, supply chain, agriculture, utilities, hospitality, tourism, e-governance. Everything is moving on to the blockchain. And I'm talking India. These are projects happening in India right now as we speak. That's what's really important. In the last three years, major. There are so many things. Uh, Gartner says it's going to be a $3.1 trillion industry in the next few years. 55% of all healthcare applications by 2025 will be on blockchain. So much this and much, much more. The future of blockchain is now. We are on the ground floor of a revolution. Let's enjoy the ride. Thank you. And I'll see you again once again next time. Signing off now. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.